Welcome to this segment of Under the Microscope. I'm Jeff Golden. Thanks so much for being with us today. I have the pleasure of being joined by Casey Baum, and Casey is the Events and Science Outreach Coordinator for UNMC. Casey, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. I wanted to talk a little bit, a bit with you today about the Science Cafe. Even the name is interesting to me, and maybe you could tell the audience and tell me a little bit about the history of how it came to be and, and what our goals are for having the Science Cafe. Absolutely. Well, first off, the Science Cafe will be turning eight in February of this like year. Eight years. Right? Eight years, which wow. is in and of itself an amazing feat. But the Science Cafe came about with Bob Barty putting a group of people together trying to expand science literacy, and my group was tasked with getting science out to people that don't experience it every day. So not the kids in school, but everyone that's been out of college for a while now, everyone over 21 that maybe doesn't encounter science in a regular basis, mm -hmm. for a lay audience in the community. And our previous director had gone to a conference and heard about these science cafes because they were very big over in Europe. Uh -huh. And we were just kind of tasked of, hey, find a cool venue, see if this works, get a couple speakers, let's test it out and go. And we went down to the Slowdown, a very popular, at mm -hmm. the time, new venue mm -hmm. where there was rock shows and stuff, and they were looking for some new programming, and we went to them with the idea on a Tuesday night to bring in a scientist for an hour to speak on any topic that they want with Q&A, very lay, very casual, not a mm -hmm. lecture. Sure. And eight years later, we're still going strong. So give us an example or two of some of the people that have done this and, uh, and what the audience response was like. Well, we did a series last year. It was a sex uh, series where there was four different series talking about sexual health um, with women, um, STIs, STDs, HIV, AIDS, just anything that would relate mm -hmm. to that. And we had speakers from the College of Public Health that participated and they would go four times a year and talk about that. We've had someone that did the science of beer. We just had um, someone come and talk about um, sex trafficking, mm -hmm. public health again. Yes, I saw that. Anything you could think of, we've had medical marijuana before. We try to get timely topics, topics that are maybe kind of controversial, but not. But our goal is not to be controversial, it's to educate you on the science. We don't take sides. To approach it from the science perspective. Yes, 100%. We, we're not there to preach what's right, what's wrong. We're here to educate you. Oh, it sounds really exciting. What's the audience like, typically? Well, usually we get about 200 people wow. on a Tuesday night, and at first we thought it was the free pizza, but we only buy pizza for like 50 people, so it's definitely not the pizza. They're there because they're really interested. Omaha is really engaged in science, and this mm -hmm. program, I think, is a testament to that, just how well it's flourished through. For eight years, we still get 200 people, which is amazing. So the audience is all sorts of backgrounds, not scientists. They might be teachers. They might be college students. They might be a mom. They might be a dad. They might be a grandparent. So anyone over 21, it's just a huge variety, a huge scope of people. So I know you organize it and it's a UNMC function, but it's actually sponsored, isn't it? Yes. The Nebraska Coalition for Life-Saving Cures is our main sponsor for the program. They have been from the beginning. Uh, Bob brought them in. Mm -hmm. um, there was at one point Bio Nebraska as well was a partner in the cafe process when it first started too. And Nebraska Curious has just stuck with us, really believes in us, really supports the program. They actually are bringing in a speaker, Dr. Franklin West. He's a leading stem cell researcher. Mm -hmm. So about once or twice a year they bring in a, a really great speaker to highlight what their mission is and it's always a joy and it's really fun and the audience embraces it greatly. Well, it sounds like this is a foundational part of our commitment to science literacy in the community, to exciting uh, members of the community, both senior members and, and, and y the younger members of mm -hmm. our community, to want careers in science, to understand what we're doing. Well, congratulations. It's really exciting. And I, I actually look forward to joining you on your upcoming uh, meeting. Oh, maybe you should present at one. Well, I'd be very <laughs> willing to do that. We would love to have uh, you. I'll take you up on that offer. All right. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you. And thank you for being with us today on this segment of Under the Microscope.